Charlie Doomer. Hey guys, if anyone has been waiting for a movie that finally checks every box on the checklist of wokeness, you're in luck because Alien Romulus is coming in just a couple months on 16th August. As even this picture shows, it will have everything from kick-ass girl bossery to emasculated diverse male companions. While the original Ripley was a strong female character, she was not running around playing soldier girl with a rifle like this one. She had to rely on her wits to beat the xenomorph. Also, it's worth noting that she was protecting a little girl and not a grown man that's twice her size like this one. The casting also looks promising since we have a protagonist from the amazing Morbius and one from the even more stellar Madame Webb. And from what we can tell, the plot will be just as big of a mess. Apparently, instead of coming up with something new, director Fetty Alvarez decided to go a different route. He's planning on creating a hybrid of Alien and Aliens, which were of course the only two successful films of the franchise. So hit the like and subscribe buttons, check out my Patreon pages link in the description for nice perks on the channel, and let's see what Ben Travis of The Empire Online has to say about this. He writes as follows, It's the age-old argument, Alien or Aliens? The Haunted House horror movie? or the action-packed war film? The lean, dread-filled original? Or the bigger, beefier sequel? Both Ridley Scott's original Xenomorph outing and James Cameron's exemplary sequel stand tall among the greatest sci-fi films of all time, each with a strong and valid claim for being the best of the bunch. But when deciding the direction in which to take his sequel, Alien Romulus, filmmaker Fadi Alvarez hit upon the ideal solution. Why not a hybrid of the two? Okay, but also, why not a new original movie for once? Or is that forbidden in Hollyweird at this point? To ask an alien fan to choose between them is a perverse question. He tells Empire in our world-exclusive new Beetlejuice Beetlejuice issue. So I thought, how do I do both? It's always a good sign when the director appears clueless and awaits guidance from others. Get ready then for a film that aims to conjure the slow build scares of Alien with the oh god they're everywhere assault of aliens set at a point between the events of those original two movies. That even extends to the film's look with the galactic renaissance station split into two sections, the alien-esque Remus and the more advanced aliens alike Romulus. Great, so they're also recycling the setting it seems. There's a moment where the characters are walking around areas familiar from the Nostromo, says Alvarez. Then they cross through that building, and on the other side, boom! You're in a hallway that looks like Hadley's Hope from Aliens. So we get a whole bunch of member berries and probably not much else. Sounds like the usual switch and bait methods that we see all the time these days from these people. Amid those fighting for their lives from space's scariest species is Kaylee Spaney's Rain and David Janssen as her android foster brother Andy. When her father was dying, he left Andy to be a kind of caretaker explains Alvarez of the pair's dynamic. But Andy is a bit damaged, and he's an older model. So more than a surrogate father, he becomes a younger brother to her. Wait, how does him being damaged make him a younger brother when he's both older and bigger than her? Looks like they really just wanted an excuse to set him up as both her brother and father at the same time, just for the sake of being weird. If this concept came from anywhere else other than Hollyweird, I would be shocked, but I'm guessing it's actually pretty normal there. And that was always the heart of the story. This relationship between the two, and how that relationship unfolds once shit hits the fan. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm interested in seeing a relationship like that unfold, with a blend of serious scares and trigger-pulling thrills in store. They're about to face the ultimate alien evolution. I'm sure they will, I just don't know if the audience will be interested in seeing it. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments, and make sure to also check out my other videos. And I'll see you in the next one.